All right, Vadrin, are you ready? Take it away. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Station 42, your community. And uh, for that, well, I ain't got my notes up, so there we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our community focused uh, Star Citizen talk show. Today's show is hosted by the one and only This Vadrin Guy Malik. Talking. <laughs> Say hello, Vadrin. <laughs> hello, Vadrin. <laughs> We're going to confuse everybody. It's going to be fantastic. All right. It'll be well, great. <laughs> anyhow, let's see. Uh, I would say we have an infection sponsor, but today we are breaking with our normal tradition and we are just going, we're going for broke. We're changing the whole format change. It's going to be a lot of fun tonight. We are bringing the community in to fly with us and ask questions and talk and or shoot at us. It's going to be a blast. Um, besides our format change just for tonight, um, celebrating Gamescom and a bunch of adventures that were had this morning and will be happening tomorrow and the following days. Um, our broadcast is supported by the Star Citizen Facebook community, also known as Ready Player One, the Star Citizen subreddit, Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, all those crazy content creators, and of course, the amazing people at CIG who keep our community alive and thriving. Vadron, would you like to in introduce us? <laughs> Hi, we're Station 42. Well, yes, yes. Well, uh, Vadron, what, what is your handle in game? So people well, can hunt you down like the dog that you are. Vader Malik, all one word. All right, there you go. My name is Dice Failure in game. I'm known by Traz Ion or Ion Traz on the Facebook and, uh, you know, around the town. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm killing I'm gonna... it. I'm killing it all the way from uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. And my good friend Vadron here, he's out in Arizona. Let's see. Huh? Um, how long have I you am... been a backer, man? How long have you been a backer? Arizona. Wait right nope oh tennessee what am i thinking i'm i've totally got you like flip-flop sorry about that yeah wrong side <laughs> of the, wrong side of wrong side of texas <laughs> oh man i'll tell you what too like and i just drove through tennessee like this That's past week was part. crazy did the drive from texas to ohio and then back to texas pretty much all in one go it was it was tight um yeah man so, I, wanna, go I have a i have a Xeon space plan <laughs> that, 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 put, that puts a peg on me right 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 um let's see let me get get us uh get us some uh some background video here for a second okay yeah so myself i'm a veteran backer i've uh, been around i was introduced to star citizen during the kickstarter but i chose not to back because at the time even though it sounded really great um i got burned on a few other games that were early access and alpha state and development pitch yada yada so i actually held off so i ended up coming in as a veteran backer and not an original backer um for you new folks if you've only come in, in the last year or two back in the day <laughs> it, whether whether you and you were an ob or a vb was like the big deal nowadays it means nothing it means no difference whatsoever basically you're a backer you're a backer um, let's see, uh, Vadron, what kind of fleet do you have? You've got a pretty, pretty substantial fleet for, uh, an individual. Uh, yeah, actually I do, but I try to focus on single seater ships. I do have two team oriented ships being a redeemer and a caterpillar, but mm -hmm. down the line. Caterpillar? Oh yeah. Well, I, I want to have, e uh, utility for the caterpillar and the, um, um, you know, staying, hopefully the staying power of the redeemer. The, um, then going down the line, I have two. Two, let's see, yeah, yeah, two warlocks, two, um, two Drake cutlasses, not cutlass, um, cutlass eye, <laughs> not, 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 not even cutlass eye, it's, Cut it's, you know, the, uh, buccaneers, actually, two Drake buccaneers, <laughs> cutlassy, god damn it, um, uh, okay, so two warlocks, two, yeah, buccaneers, um, a herald, a prospector, um, saber, uh, Vanguard with uh, the BUKs and a nice. few others. Uh, Delta, Delta Freelancer, a few odd. Yeah. Balls. So, Vatron is one of those, those folks who spent a lot of money on ships and still needs to upgrade his computer. <laughs> Actually, I'm still I'm looking at the case and I'm looking at the um, I've got the liquid cooling right here beside me and nice. I'm looking at everything so I'm slowly getting there. Currently, I'm checking out one of the local bars. <laughs> and and <laughs> 
well, I'm, I'm coming in to, to join you in just a minute. You just hang tight there, good sir. We're not, uh, we're not doing our live play yet. I've got video streaming in the background. Now, I will say this. Um, CJ Morgan429 right. in the chat asked uh, what part of Tennessee, as he is from Murfreesboro. <laughs> sorry, sorry I'm, CJ, I'm slaughtering that. I'm right by the Big Muddy. I'm, um, let's see, about 30 minutes north of uh, Memphis. So Nice, nice. Yeah, unfortunately, while I was driving through Memphis on both my way to Ohio and my way back, I was unable to stop and visit with Vatron. We were looking forward to it. We kept trying to plan it. But, uh, you know, when you're, when, you're, when you're driving straight through from Ohio to Texas and you roll through town at 1 in the morning, there's, there's no stopping to say hi. So it just didn't work out, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, so and now describing my fleet, sadly enough, uh, I mean, it sounds a little ridiculous and I not, not to, <laughs> to boast, but it, it is literally easier for me to tell you what ships I don't have. Um, my sweet heart, my sweetheart and I are uh, we're completionists, and then some. Uh, it's a bit ridiculous, but you know I've been with this game a long time, so it wasn't like it was all one a single time expense. Uh, at one point, I sold off my entire collection of ships on Reddit, and then turned around and used the profits right back into the game. Uh, and then on top of that, you know we. Um, uh, it, it went from us having our personal collections to us building a collection of ships for the community. So all of the assets that I have, I, I recognize and understand that they're not going to be a personal use. They're not, they're not for me. They're really not. They're for the community. They're for the organization that I'm building. And, uh, and then that organization in turn itself is a, a watchdog, a guard dog, a, a Batman, if you would, for the Ready Player One community, which is the Star Citizen Facebook community. And since that community is also organization neutral, basically anybody who comes into that community and is a positive asset and isn't a douchebag is going to be able to call on our services. So basically, you know, I, my money is your money. You know, uh, me, 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 Dolores, Sue Dolores. <laughs> So, anyway, so right. basically, while he's telling you all that, I'm currently pissing and completely missing the urinal in his local bar. Oh, what, are you in Art Corp right now? What What are you doing in this nope. local bar? <laughs> right, uh, I'm in I'm in your local bar. <laughs> in my local bar, what? <laughs> <clears throat> Boy. All right. Well. Anyhow, I've, I've actually got a, a PTU video running in the background, so the chat guys, Fraxis, is uh, commenting on the Argo. Yeah, it, the Argo is really fun to fly, guys. It's it's small. It's got, like, I, it, when you're flying in it, I don't understand how flying in a smaller ship can make Port Olasar look so much larger. But while, when you're piloting it, piloting it and you're in first person, it actually makes the station look like it's a huge station and you're in a tiny ship. <laughs> It's it's really weird. Uh, they did a really good job on that. It it uh, it feels really fun to fly. So unfortunately, Vadrin, while he has PTU access, has not patched PTU. So everybody, give him a nice boo, because instead of us I have to a, fly a in PTU I story, have a seven hundred kilobit, <laughs> not byte, kilobit connection. You know, I am I'm a step above a fifty six k. Man. You should, you, should, you should do some night walking and make that extra cash so you can support a higher connection speed. <laughs> you know, that's the problem. I've been trying to do the night walking for the for the computer, and it just isn't working out. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can see that. But, you know, it, whatever. It's PT, <laughs> PTU patches so frequently that it is a nightmare if you have a slow connection. And, it, and it's like you and I were talking about earlier. It's not really worth it unless you just have a lot of a few days off and and a hard on for it so well um, if you if you live in redneckville usa like i do you really don't have an opportunity to have a really good connection right. this is the t the highest speed my my house gets currently wow. which is wow. kind of a shame yeah I, i'll tr tr trust me i'm 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 agitated because i i feel like I should be getting a better deal for the for the money that's being paid, and I've checked with other other ISPs. I've checked with other things, and wow. it just seems like only thing I can get is seven hundred. So I Jeez. I when I do a patch download, and then they come <laughs> out with patch B, then right. they then I was like, okay, sure, I'll try it, and then they come out with patch C the next day, yeah. and okay, I'll try. And everybody else is mad at me because I'm sitting here soaking up the bandwidth completely and thoroughly. 
so it's like okay it isn't worth getting through the alphabet to try and play for five minutes it, it's yeah, not it's yeah. just not no, I'd no rather I, I can see that 100 percent, man so <laughs> hey, so so Vadrin, are you ready to uh jump into the universe i'm sitting at the menu so i'm bringing up the launcher do you want to launch first or you want me to launch first I want you to go ahead and launch first because I'm floating around in my hangar. I just got through checking out the uh, club. All right. I'm jumping into port. Oh, that's what you meant by the bar. Okay, yeah. So I have the Million Mile High Club. My sweetheart actually <laughs> locked in the very last completionist when they were a limited run. And when it got down and they were selling out, she got the very last one that had the Million Mile High asset attached to it. So whoever is cursing that they didn't get it, they, they can blame me. <laughs> anyway, Pretty right. sure there's probably like a thousand people that are so uh no I, I, I don't know that that many people were hustling to get it the, um, it took overnight for those those last 15 of those to to sell out so they, that's a pretty big commitment i will say the downside of having a large package like that is you're locked into it you can't sell your ships you can't melt some in order to reuse those rsi credits to to you know, cross chassis or, or buy a new ship that comes out. So a lot of times when these new ships come out, I've already I've already spent the money I want to spend. You know, I don't want to really spend anymore, but I don't have the freedom to juggle the value that I have invested in my account in order to get the new ships that are coming out. So it's kind of frustrating. It it's so it's it's an interesting thing that you know, having been a high spender, I am now an edge case where in some ways I kind of get screwed and uh, you know, and you know, and then, you, and then you, you're in that position where people are like, Oh, well, you know, you spent all that money. It shouldn't mean anything. It's like, well, that's not the case. I spent that all that money over the course of many of several years. But um, yeah, uh, people often ask me the same thing and I'm, I'm to the tune of about 25 and, wow. and what it is, is basically 2,500. Yeah. Yeah. 25. The, the, um, <laughs> The, the problem that you run into is that people don't they think that you spend it all at once right. and and that's not really the problem you you wind up saying like, Ooh, I really like to have this or do I really think I need that whereas you've strategized yourself to build a community I've kind of strived you know made myself out to actually build a very small org right. with hey, before, uh, with before, multiples before of you continue ships. make sure you're going in and trying to join the server I'm in before it fills up oh I've already done that okay. I, I hit it Oh, so as long as it doesn't crap out, I'm fine. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, it, it's interesting because I believe that, you know, the dollar is the dollar. I don't care if you're a backer of $45, $45 for a single ship and a single package. You know, your, your voice is just as important regardless of how much another person may have spent. But a lot of times it's funny because you end up with a, a reverse bias because, you know, most people will respect that opinion because, you know, it's well, about taking care of everybody equally. But then when it's the flip way around, it's like, oh, you spent a lot of money. You can't ask for anything or you're a special snowflake. No, but to be fair, mm. to be fair, there are a lot of people that spent a lot of money and they do want to be treated like a special snowflake. So it's kind of, uh, well, it's I like, mean, I just, I don't want to be one of those guys, you know, but. So, so <laughs> the next time you see people walking into a casino, Ask yourself a question. Do they spend two thousand, three thousand dollars at a time? Typically no. But they might have spent about three or four thousand, five, even up to a hundred and hundreds of thousands of dollars over a course of time, if you look at the time frames. It's it's the same thing. And in the way I look at Star Citizen is when I when I actually have people try to say, Well, you spent way too much money on something that isn't even made yet. Well, I'm sitting there thinking, well, you know, there are people that go and buy thirty, forty thousand dollar bass boats, and they just leave them sitting in their yard most <laughs> right. of the year. Right. I right. mean, they, they might use them twice. So I mean, like, you really, you, <laughs> well, it's, all, it's really a no brainer. Your money is your money. Yeah, it's it's all about the, it's a hobby. You know, you, you spend your money where yeah. you can afford it and how you enjoy it. That's up to you. Oh, yeah. certainly. So uh, yeah. Cy Cyberwolf seventy four in chat says, "Well, the good news for you, Vadrin." is uh, folks with a slow DSL, they're currently testing a new form of DSL that starts at 450 megabytes and can eventually hit one gigabyte on regular copper phone wires. Europe's first. I would though. love to be a, <laughs> I would love to be a guinea pig for that. I honestly yeah. think that my poor little computer couldn't handle it. <laughs> I, you know, your computer versus the speed of your internet, two wholly separate things. Hey man, oh, so I where, know. where are you? I'm down at the, uh, the selection hub. Well, I'm I'm almost there. I'm actually. Okay. Uh, do you want me to 
do you, well, hell, you just go pick the ship and I'll fly the damn thing. What, what, ship, <laughs> what, what, what ship would you like to fly? I w- I I'm, s- in, I'm indifferent. You have the entire uh, selection here. I just happen to have a really choicey few picks. Oh, well, let's ask the community. Anybody in the community have a preference of what ship uh, the two of us fools uh, get on and fly? Uh, somebody said the Rebel Yell, right? Sorry, I'm not watching the screen. Heard, I haven't heard that yet. <laughs> no, it's all right. I've got it up on the laptop next to me, so I can watch the Twitch stream there. <laughs> I wonder how many rednecks I'm going to truly find on here. I'm going to measure this gauge by the amount of people that name their ships the General Lee. <laughs> as long as it doesn't I'm... come with a space Dixie horn. <laughs> you know, that's the funny <laughs> thing right. about it. We have a request for the freelancer, so let me let me get that bad puppy up. Does the back gun work? Yeah, it sure does. You know, I've never tried that one either. Hell, shit. All right. All right, I'm on Alpha Strut, and I'm, Here, he- and I'm heading to zero 09. I think I see you, but I'm not oh. sure. Yep. Hey, Major Malik, what's up? Quit running between frames, damn it. Why, why are you running off the other direction? Wrong way. Oh, yeah, okay, so, hey, if there's a <laughs> middle finger in here, I'm going to use it. I'm sure there is. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, so I, I may need to pull this over onto the other Discord real quick once we uh, once we get ourselves situated. Look at you trying to lag glitch through the door. <laughs> yeah, I've done it before. What well, it works. <laughs> uh-huh. Wow, yeah, you've, you're already through and out. Yeah, I've done it plenty of times. (laughs) I don't even use the door. I just walk straight through it. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. The benefits of lag. You know, that's one of the things that they've been talking about with um, with uh, flora and fauna on planets. You know, there's a lot of games like if you play Arma three, you know, most people turn off the awesome grass because as pretty as it is someone laggy as hell well someone can turn it off because they have a slower computer and oh let me uh all right i got into the seat but i'll let me get, let me get back out and turn it over to you i just wanted to I get got in it. so i'd unlock it so it should be unlocked now <clears throat> anyhow right so you know people will turn it off to so they have an advantage but that sucks because that means that you're running around a much more ugly environment specifically because people don't want to because they they feel that they, they have to be competitive, so the question is is can Star Citizen create tech for their for their grass? All right, I'm jumping up in the rear turret for their uh, you know grass and foliage and things like that that will, as you turn down the graphical settings, will not lend an advantage to somebody who's trying to use that to FPS better, you know. And uh, so I really hope that they do. I, I mean, I think that's pretty important. They were actually talking about that on the live stream this morning at Gamescom. So, ooh, look at that. We're flying. Hey, do you remember what the... Uh... All right, guys, I don't, I don't fight in a turret very often. What's the, the shortcut key to make your turret not suck? Is it Alt-Z or something like that? No idea on that one. I'll ask in uh, in the universe chat. God, this is so pretty though. Hope- it is. Hopefully we don't uh, we don't have any of the bugs where like while we're dog fighting I just fall out of the uh, the turret. Yeah, digital taxes taxes on digital goods is bullshit. It's you know of course that sorry that was uh, Cyberwolf in chat was saying that. There's always going to be governments and agencies that are going to be struggling to uh, hustle your money from you. Ah, oh, man, that freelancer looks sexy. Ooh, I see us getting ready to jump. Boom! Oh, look at that. I'm in uh, third-person view. I was watching from, like, an isometric angle of off the starboard side of your ship, looking back over the port rear. Nice. Oh, I'm watching all the, uh, all the um, maneuvering jets. This is, I'm really glad you're piloting. I've, I haven't really got to enjoy this in the, ooh, we're in yellow. Yep, yep. Okay, so here's how you would get to Grim Hex. Turn, turn to face the planet, turn to face the moon, aim for yellow. Are you in cruise mode? Cause you're turning super slow. 
I'm going. I'm, I'm in cruise. Then I'm you just. Sh you should uh, decouple so you can actually turn quicker. Oh, there I hate that. <laughs> All right, slow down. Slow down. All right. Now, now aim for a 45 degree angle down and to the right of the center of the planet. So basically, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna aim down and to the right until you can do a, an open jump into free space just past the planet. All right. You got it. Okay, so now, run now, about here. Right, now quantum, and then as soon as you go into quantum, cancel quantum jump. Now, how do you do that before uh, I... You, you push the same button that you do to quantum. So just mash it a few buttons. It, it'll take it a couple of seconds to... All right, guys, watch this. Oh, no. <laughs> do, it, do it again. <laughs> well, you told me to. <laughs> well, as soon as it engages. Now do it. All right, guys. So what I'm showing him how to do is how to get Boom. when we when 2.5 goes live. This is how the fastest way to get to uh, now turn around and jump right back to yellow. The fastest way to get to Grim Hex. So if you guys notice how when you're jumping from Port Olasar to yellow, aim directly at yellow, then turn to the right and go and aim down until you're at an angle at like a 45 degree angle off the center, both down and to the right. Make make a jump into free space. Immediately cancel your jump after you begin the jump. Otherwise, you're going to hit the boundary and explode. Now, as soon as you come, then do a 180. Jump back to yellow like we just did. Aim straight up. Aim up at the ring. Do, 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 do. And right where there is nothing there right now, that is where Grim Hex is going to be. So, I mean, I, there's obviously there's nothing there now. But... Basically, it means you can uh, jump to Grim Hex in very short order. It's, uh, oh my god, who didn't close the side door on the... <laughs> eh, one, it's vacuum sealed, we're fine. <laughs> one of the things I do love about 2.5 is now you have manual control over your your landing gear, which means that uh, when you take off, you, you, you toggle your landing mode, and all your doors are going to auto-close. So that's super nice. I was wondering if that would actually work. Yep. All right, so I can either go and take a tour of yellow, or we can go and find some conflict. Yep. Do whatever you like, man. I mean, we could, uh, I don't know, do, do you, have you picked up a, a decent FPS weapon? Or are you rolling with the uh, laser rifle at least? I'm rolling with, like, uh, whatever my friends per second ask can get. <laughs> well, I was going to say... you. In uh, 2.4, you start with enough funds to buy a, a laser rifle right off the bat. Oh, I gotta take a screenshot of this because this is just pretty. Ah, oh, stop turning! You're killing the shot. What are you doing? <laughs> Trying to break, actually. <laughs> I can't wait until uh, I can't wait until they actually change the freelancer to have um, to have uh, to where where its engines rotate. To, to help with, uh, you know, various vector changes and so on. That would help. Yeah. I was wondering if they were ever going to implement that. <laughs> let me, let you me get go. Your... I'm going to, while, while you're, uh, while you're flying yeah. maneuvering, I'm going to go grab the discord link so we can, uh, migrate ourselves over to the, uh, to the ready. You got the screenshot? One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. I guess I could take another you one. You got it. Better hurry. Woo, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, and my Discord on the laptop is trying to get a uh, an update, of course. <laughs> hey, look. Tessa. Tessa Bannister can totally see you. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, lady. Alright, let's see. Where... 
Looking, looking, looking. Okay. Well, I can see. Okay, let's see right here. Uh, no, 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 not that way either. All right, folks. If okay. you're in, uh, if you're in uh, our Twitch stream, I'm linking uh, the invitation to the Ready Player One Discord channel. Ready Player One is the nickname for the Star Citizen Facebook group. Um, it's a head nod to the book of the same name, and I think there's even a movie coming for it. But <laughs> It's an org-neutral platform for people to hang out and uh, talk all things Star Citizen. Think of it as kind of like RSI official chat, but without the toxic. Official. And uh, kind of like Reddit, but a little more socially accountable and so on and so forth. So it's a much more friendly environment, but whatever. Come on over if you like. Um, Vadrin, you and I, uh, if you don't mind, can you... Uh, can you alt tab without crashing to switch over to the RP1 uh, voice channel? All right, I'm switching now. Um, question. Uh huh. I don't know that you've ever given me the link. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh my goodness! All right, you're killing me, Smalls. Hey. Let, 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 let me let me get you let me get you that. <laughs> How would you like it delivered? Uh, I'll I'll, uh, I'll, send it to, I'll send it to you in Discord via PM. Uh, I was about to say fresh watercress with a little bit of mayo. <laughs> Food's on the brain. I'm sorry. Uh, there you there you go. You One does not simply live off of cheese. It. All right, click over. As soon as I see you leave the channel, I'll, I'll jump over and join you. For our listeners, they won't hear it. There will be nothing different. You guys will hear us chatting in both channels. So, All right, there we are. I'll do a quick post in the Facebook, let people know that if, they're, if they want to hop in and fly with us, chat with us, ask questions, that we will be available. You know, crash my computer, whatever works. <laughs> And we are go. Three, two, one, and we're in trouble. <laughs> All those years of saying, oh my god, help me, there's a bear, has finally paid off for poor Traz. <laughs> Look alive, there'd be pirates. Wait a minute, and I'm driving. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, let me pull back in. All right, I'm back in uh, back in the game. All right, so oh, you should swing wide. Hey, so to do that, before you engage too close, unless you just want to fight the pirates, I would say, uh, like if you're in decoupled crews, just swing out wide around that big asteroid over to your right. You're gonna have to cut harder now because we've already closed the distance a bit. Not that I don't find the pirates kind of embarrassingly easy, but with two of us in a multi-crew, you're gonna end up with four pirates spawning and uh, those weapons on the front of the freelancer, they hit super hard, but you definitely have to... Uh, Make them count. Yeah, the, the, the hard ammo is a slow muzzle velocity, so it's... Uh... So far, nothing detected. Enjoying the sights? Yeah, yeah. Gives me an excuse to like just hang out in uh, third-person view and play cameraman. Now we now we just need a reliant Mako. <laughs> yeah. it w it'd be great if we had a reliant Mako and it gave us a special way to uh, stream in verse so we could uh, jump into the game Gamescom when they're uh, when uh, all the Twitch streamers and Disco Lando are doing their thing and you know roll around. They 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 interacted pretty fairly with the community today. There was lots of uh, lots of. Uh, 
lots of uh, art corp running around lots of players doing dance moves <laughs> At one at one point, uh, bad news Baron. I think he was using the CIG account. Either that, or he he has a completionist with, uh, or wing commander with. Um, oop, I think we got pirate pops. Those bogeys. CDC. All right, I see four bogeys, and they are bandits. All right, qualified bandits. Here we go. Target, where you at? Uh, oh, there it is. Hold still, you naughty target. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh. I know there's a, there's gotta be a <laughs> I don't know if you hit him or if I hit him, but that was good. I hit him. Well, I was I was on target at the same time. <laughs> you can take some credit. Knock yourself out. <laughs> no, nah, I was just happy that it lined up well. That's well, probably why you were so stable because. Uh... Keep shooting. Uh, I'm working on it. Oh, I hit him! I hit him! Oh God, I hit him! <laughs> Man, if you even hit somebody with a turret, it's it's a happy day. Really? They they need to make turrets like. 20 times more powerful. <laughs> At least until they put the mechanics in that make it not suck so bad. Oh my god, tilt down, tilt down. You got it. Oh, I hit him once. I hit him. Oh god. <laughs> I felt bad for the Gamescom streamers, man. Like DJ Knight, he's a great pilot. And he's flying, and he's he's stuck flying like a Hotas that he's he didn't customize and hadn't had any time uh, playing on. And they're like, one of the guys was doing mouse and keyboard, and he's used to flying dual sticks. And I, I just do not envy that. I do not envy that one bit. Woo-hoo, <laughs> die, bastard. Hey, Captain Bane. How's it going, brother? By the way, anybody who's listening to this chat, Captain Bane is the mastermind between behind uh, Star Citizen... Uh, lore cast and some wicked wicked content creation like i don't even know how to explain it but it's high quality my friends high quality does that oh 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 oh, oh. shooting i'm shooting i'm shooting guns at things it's amazing oh Hell yeah skippy <laughs> did did you kill that or did he just i don't it? know <laughs> It doesn't matter, really. It's just, you know, <laughs> pirate got splattered all over a windshield. It happens. Right. I feel like a semi-trucker with missiles. It's great. <laughs> Captain Captain Bane, if, you, if you're interested, that Discord link that's in the chat channel is uh, for the Ready Player One uh, voice comms over on Discord. So you can welcome to come join and chat with us live if you want and uh, jump into the show and conversate. If, uh, if you feel like flying, we're actually flying live right now. So, Vadrin Malik is V-A-E-D-R-I-N-M-A-L-L-A-C-K. That would be Vadrin's name in the verse. His handle and my handle is Dice Failure. All one word. D-I-C-E-F-A-I-L-U-R-E. -E. Did you die or something? Nope. I'm sorry. That sounds like a good time. Oh! I hear people's talking. Hey, what's up, baby? <laughs> Hey man, how's it going? Hey, going on. <laughs> Mister, that is the 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 sweet stylings of one Irv Nation. <laughs> it's good to see you, man. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. I ordered myself a 1080 today. I'm doing really oh, good. Oh, that's nice. That's real nice. I'm so happy. <laughs> hey, so why are we flying away from the uh, red beacon? Cause I'm trying to find more shit to kill. Sorry. <laughs> I want my money. I got my priorities. I gotta kill shit. <laughs> you need to do that. You have to go. Uh... Yeah, well, all right. We already towards that those. green dot right there. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna break it. Take a break from the gun turret and walk around the ship a little bit. Ah, oh, come on. I was gonna have you like run out and collect more monies and stuff. Yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. Well, thanks for hanging right. out with us, Captain Bane. I mean, I've never been a fan of having to watch things from a mobile, but hopefully we're coming through all right. 
I know the settings on this uh, Twitch feed should... Oh, oh, what did I just do? Oh, I hit use and it teleported me from a midship to uh, to the aft and I'm back in the turret. <laughs> you better like hit in it because I think we got some bogeys. What? All right, scanning, 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 enhancing. I've, uh, enhancing. I don't know if the guy is, is, is bad or not, so... Oh, player? Yeah, well, Smitty sent. Oh, well, we should just shoot him and see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a good, nah, that's nah, a good nah. old. Nah, dude, we're, we're, I, we're, I like that method, though. It's the best way to find out. Shoot first and figure it out. Nah, well, it's true. We're, we're not inside of... Uh, we're not inside of uh, comma range, array range. But nah, let's uh, let's let's swing by and make make our our, our UEC. Not that we'll have it long. I'm sure when 2.5 goes live, it's all going to get wiped. So I, I never understood the players that like were like, I'm going to make a million alpha UEC. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's about bragging rights. Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, I see some pirates up there, but I don't think they're our business. I'm not seeing the uh, our beacon from the turret, so I'm going to hop, hop down again. Good, good. I'm, I'm, well, it sounds like uh, the performance of the stream is set up right because uh, Captain Bain says it's working out just fine from his uh, mobile app. I, I know some some streamers. If you if you set your settings wrong, what'll happen is is um, you know it might look good if you've got a hot a fast download connection, but if you have a slower download con connection, um, you know your 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 viewers who who don't have a great connection just kind of get screwed. So pretty smooth on my end sure nice nice i'd even let you uh conversate in that's fantastic <laughs> i am now I, I opened up the back the back door of the pickup truck and i'm now hanging out on the tailgate just watching the world go by well here while you're hanging out at the tailgate let me turn around the ship <laughs> give me give me a pretty view no, I want you to go and grab that big old green pile of boogers right there. Uh, all right, I am ready. I am ready. Oh, so ready. I have drawn my sniper rifle. Really? For, for never mind. <laughs> you know what? Go ahead. <laughs> oh, man, I forgot to uh, fix the sniper. So wait, that green, that green salvage is way the hell back over there. You better get me closer. You better hit that look backwards key and back it up. <laughs> Hang on, I'm working on it. All right, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just guide you in. All right, so uh, 180 full reverse. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Give me a second. Closer. Oh, I see you uh, shut down the power to the ship. All right, since you're out of the captain's seat, I'm gonna, I'm now an EVA. Oh my no, you god. Ain't. Oh, no, you ain't. <laughs> uh oh, am I drifting? feel like i'm drifting oh i'm i'm rapidly oh slow down <laughs> slow down don't you laugh yeah, at me i will shoot it's... i will shoot you right through that <laughs> i can't tell where it's shooting oh why am, I, why am i drifting away so fast jeez are you in front of me you are closing the distance Oh, okay, I'm coming to a stop. I've got no sound. No sound. All right, you are at 1,900. Closing. 1,900? Slow down, slow down, slow down. You're going to pass right, me right. by. You're on, a, no, you're, on, you're, you're on a perpendicular trajectory to me, so just stand fast. You ever uh, tried to back up a ship while actually listening to backwards directions? <laughs> yes. All the time, right? I just want to know why I'm not able to shoot through the cockpit with this. I don't even know if this I'm, sniper rifle is even hitting. Probably not. But if you're going to do that, should I blow up the ship? <laughs> no. I feel like... Oh, somebody else is shooting you from behind. Take off. Take off. It's an Aurora. I know, I know. No, no, it's not an Aurora. I wonder if I can... Well, I pissed him off. He's looking for me, but I, 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 I stopped firing. Eat this. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Oh, I distracted him. He was like looking for where he, where I was hitting him with the pot shots because I was just going nuts with the with the laser rifle because I don't have the the scope on it. I couldn't tell if it was. I wasn't seeing shield flash. I finally did see like one little shield flash. I right, hold stand fast. You're at seven oh seven from. I'm no, good. No. I'm good. You're accelerating away. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Full Here, stop, I'm trying to full stop. stop. I'm trying to stop. It's dead. <laughs> oh wait, you're dead. No, I'm not dead. It's just not stopping. Oh, the it's... ship. The ship is non-responsive. God damn it! All right, yeah, like he must have blown off some damn it. He must have. He knocked damn. off the wings. I think he exploded underneath me. Yeah, I did see a double explosion. We'll we'll go back and look at it in the video later. <laughs> you damn right we will. <laughs> All right, guys. You know, if you have any questions or topics uh, for us to talk about, as opposed to just being a bunch of goofballs flying around blowing things up, including ourselves. Feel free to either type <laughs> type it in the chat if you're not comfortable with voice chat, or if you're feeling comfortable in voice chat, hop into the Discord and uh, have a good time with us. Or jump in the universe and try to kill us. Or jump in the universe and help us try to kill other things. You know, Just the, kill yeah, everything. the ship is completely hosed. <laughs> so oh, what man. I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and participate. I'm going to uh, hop out of this. Oh, oh, don't don't leave me. I'm not leaving you. I'm just leaving the ship. I'm letting you go. No, 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 no. Don't, don't abandon ship. I'm it's really kind of hard to fly it if it isn't going anywhere. I, I, I mean, that. I just gave it full thrust, thrust and it didn't do nothing. It's completely dead in the water, and the dude's probably going to come back because he probably would be really pissed about that last move. I know I would be. <laughs> that's that's awesome. Don't care. Oh, thoughts on the Argo. Uh, well... I really like it. Um, we're not playing in the PTU right now. This is just regular 2.4.1. Um, but I, I've, I've flown both the passenger version and the... The passenger version has eight seats, four on each side, and then it has the pilot. We're on live right now, 2.4.1. Um, the, But I have PTU access. It's just that Vadrin hasn't patched for PTU, so we're playing 2.4.1. Um, the Argo's cargo version... Or I'm sorry, the Pargo, the passenger Argo, um, has the pilot seat and and eight jump seats. Uh, it's a real tight fit, but it feels right. Like you can kind of crouch and walk in, and then you can you can use all for all eight of the seats. Um, definitely, when you're exiting the vehicle with a full crew, however, <laughs> it's you're definitely gonna have to take turns standing up and walking out. Now the the cargo Argo has rear access where you can load the cargo and then up towards the cab, it has a jump seat for an additional, an additional passenger, just one additional passenger besides the pilot. And that passenger has access to two airlocks, one on either side, kind of like the Aurora, in the Aurora configuration. So it's pretty nice. Now, the third variant that is not going to be on sale yet because they haven't developed the module for it, is um is the sargo <laughs> search and rescue argo and uh mm -hmm. the saa the the sar version we don't know what it's going to get but what we do know is they've said that the, the argo is not a variant ship there is only one argo it's just the module that you equip to it is what changes its functionality but every single argo frame no matter what variant you buy eventually is going to have a a uh an arm a uh, like a uh, uh, you know a, a, an arm used for doing minor repairs or doing basic uh, basic salvage work basic repair work and uh, that's going to be modified onto the existing Argo frame in the future they just it didn't have any functionality yet so they just they just left it off but uh, so that's hey, uh, hey. so that's kind of cool yeah hey are you still with us no. I mean, yes. <laughs> well, the question is, is I just wanted to know, would you, uh, in your Argo, hand me a beer? Well, see, that's what I was thinking now. When he said arm, I was thinking, are we talking hand about like a Canadian beer. space arm that's on the, the, spe <laughs> the space station? Because that would make sense. Well, like a tractor beam. Go. It's going to be a tractor beam. Yeah, apparently my guy is not able to do boost. Like, I've got no sound, and when I'm trying to speed up my, my, my flight movement, holding shift is doing Nothing. Nothing. Well, I'm flying towards the nice green dot out here, trying to 
loot a little bit of money before I figured that Traz Ion would give me a pickup. But I guess he's still flying around oh, too. That right, works too. Right. Well, if you want to do that, I'll, I'll, I will do that and I'll come rescue. I'll, I'll suicide. You know, I've never actually actually been rescued. I'm usually the guy that's getting killed, so hey. All right. Well, I am now a drifting corpse in space. <laughs> I thought you were that before. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. All right. Let's see. What, what, what do I want to pick you up in? Hmm. You have quite the selection. Knock yourself out. I, I'm, that I'm, was just low, babe. That was just low. <laughs> nah, it wasn't low. Just, just, for that, just for that, I'm going to bring a, a, an Aurora LN and make you sit in the bed. <laughs> you know, I've always wondered, does that work? Yeah, yeah, it sure does. Oh, look at my guy. I'm, I'm, I'm dressed all in blue today. Hey, Let's bring see. the LX at least, okay? I want to have the nice leather seats. <laughs> you, know what, you know what's missing? We need sunglasses. Cause I wear my sunglasses in space. Not that look like Spock. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I know, right? Isn't that crazy? Uh, and now you're front, and now you ruined it. I'm I'm really glad that they they did an overhaul of the male model though, cause like the lighting on the on the male model right now, in 2.4, he looks creepy. He definitely, <laughs> uh, definitely looks better. Yeah. Yeah. All right. The white stripe on the collar is bugging me. Oh yeah, on the back, he's like a reverse. He's like a reverse priest. That's true. Wow. Well, that's <laughs> that's what he should be. He should be the reverse priest. <laughs> All right. Let's see. We'll go with. Doop. So, what would that be? A reverse priest. Well, he does look, you know, kind of demonic. That's more like an anti-priest. A reverse priest would be somebody that actually oh. does the exact opposite so you guys see where i'm looking at this opening soon yeah that's where a dumpers depot is going to be in 2.5 oh we're getting a dumpers depot nice yep. well you know, we're getting we're getting the dumpers depot signage and the coming soon so it's it's placed but it's not in yet so but it's not in two point it, it's not in 2.5 it's there but right it's there but it's still not functional so i'm guessing that we'll probably see it on like 251 252 something like that so you're telling me there's a chance huh? yeah <laughs> that's kind of the way it rolls so i mean you know uh, there's a chance you know that one in a million the apocalypse arm is such a sexy damn gun but it still sucks Oh, well, that's just because they, they nerfed the shit out of ballistics. I mean, I, I can definitely understand the reasons why, but, yeah, that's a different argument. I was I was just really enjoying the uh, the our shotgun before it got nerfed to hell and back. I believe it got nerfed. I, yeah, I, I had fun with that for a tiny little bit, and then uh, then it got nerfed, and then, and then we went to live, so I just I hadn't bought it or anything to play with it. Oh, it was it was really fun yeah. in the beginning because it just laid waste. So uh, Captain Bain was saying that we need uh, Riddick style glasses, some shined eyes. You know, you got to pay a guy a pack of cools gets thrown in the slammer. You know, uh, Bootyo Hunter and I just recently watched the entire series of that, um, the whole like Riddick Chronicles and everything. So it was pretty cool. All right. Oh, I, I don't have to pull up my uh, landing gear anymore because I'm on 2.4. Somebody's a scrub and didn't, you know, download. Hey, I'll <laughs> download 2.5 when right. it's live. So where do I gotta go? I gotta go. Uh, let's. See. Can you actually see me right now? No, I'm I'm at Port Olisar. I got I got I mean, do you have me on a pip or something anywhere? Oh yeah, there, I, see, I do see the freelancer. Let me uh, pull up the mission though, because I may or may not have. Since I didn't pull the ICC mission, I'll have to go, run and get it. Well, I'm near one of the treasure nodes. Actually, I'm trying to. Right. I'm slowly moving. I'm <clears throat> moving to loot it. So, if anybody wants their opportunity to come kill me, that's also <laughs> there. For you, so. <laughs> One of these little green blobs is not like the other. <laughs> How are we feeling about the uh, Star Citizen branded uh, Hotasses? Um, you know, I really don't see how um, 
uh, you know, wheel or um, track balls are going to be really do anything or make a difference. It's, it felt like when they did that, they were trying to make it so that you could fly while simultaneously aiming your gimbal. And I just don't, I don't, I don't really know that that's, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I think th it, with, with enough practice, I think that you could, it could make a marginal difference. You know, I mean, I, I guess the thing is, is I don't, I just don't think that that's the most important trait that they needed to focus on. Honestly, when it comes to this, the flight stick that you use, there's plenty of sticks on the market that are plenty good enough. The, the problem item that's missing from the space sim genre is something to control your forward, back, left, right, up, down. And to do that, that you'd want to do that from your left hand, you know? So you'd want to have a throttle slash second stick or you know, 3D mouse or some kind of combination of those things that would let you have enough buttons and be able to control your 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 um, your movement in, in space, have enough granular control, yet at the same time, you know, enough gross control for when you're in combat and need to make you know high 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 uh, high velocity changes or rapid velocity changes. All right, I'm flying out to this Miss Freelancer. So, and then once I get to our old ship and destroy it, um, I'll turn back and I'll see if I can't find the nearest, um... Well, right now I'm currently about 25.3 clicks out from it. Okay. So that should give you a field of view of where I'm at. I'm, I'm a green dot beside a large asteroid. Alright, I'm closing in on it rapidly. It's a green dot on a large asteroid. Ooh. What he said. You may want to get that checked out. <laughs> yeah, so the Gamescom, they gave away six ships this morning. They started with uh, an Aurora LN package. They gave that away. And then they gave away two F7C Hornets, one 300i, and then a another 300i. And then they ended with a... Um, they ended with a, a Constellation Andromeda. Once once the stream got over f like 5,500 people, that was when when uh, when uh, Lando decided he was he was gonna he was gonna dip dip into the uh, the bigger ship category. So so nice. I think they're they're gonna try to do that each day. But the tough thing is is for instance I, I woke up at like 4:30 this morning to be online for the stream because it was about 5 a.m. my time when the stream started and it lasted about six hours. Well, tonight, I'm going to have to wake up about 2.30 because the stream goes live at 3. So, I mean, honestly, the, the, the Gamescom stream so far really wasn't about us. If you're already a backer, it wasn't really for you, except for the, perhaps the ships, uh, because there was no new information. There was no information drops. There wasn't even really any discussion of anything that would be relevant to a backer who's active and follows follows uh oh 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 hang on oh i'm overpassing did i just fly by you i have not a clue i'm busy checking out my new sniper rifle okay well i'm uh, at one of the salvage salvage uh nodes so it was more of a here's what the game is yeah it was it was completely for new players it was for new people it was for the people that were you know at gamescom and maybe following the twitch stream or whatever um and, and that was fine. It was fine. Like they spent most of their time in Art Corp. They spent most of their time in, um, you know, in uh, Arena Commander, and with a tiny little bit in the Persistent Universe, and a lot of time in the hangar, showing off the four different hangars and showing off like different ships in those hangars. So, it was. I mean, in that sense, it was a little bit disappointing. But hey, you know, if you're a backer and you've got the time, I would suggest if you log in. You know, make sure you put in your raffle at the beginning of the hour and then come back right at the hour to check to see if you won. <laughs> because, you know, I mean, they're giving away ships and it's, it's uh, you know, I mean, the odds aren't great per se. But, uh, you know, one of the guys who won a ship is somebody that's, you know, well known and, you know, was, uh, you know, so they were surprised. They're like, wow, we actually know that guy. So, uh, you know, it's it's just, it's hard to say, you know. I mean, you know, one in, one in 5,000 is... That's still better that, odds than the lottery. Yes, yes, it is. All right, so I, I'm not seeing you here at this salvage node, Vadron. So I'm gonna do a little, 
I'm going to swoop out and see if I can't find the next bit of green without losing my orientation. I would be able to hear you if, uh, you know, I, if it were close. I'm in a vanguard, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I thought you, did you, did you fly to, are you, you next to a giant asteroid or are you, uh, I'm, next, I'm really close to a really, really large asteroid, but I'm on a green dot beside it. And I'm currently having my glitch, so if you want to see my glitch of the reason why I don't do the universe very much, I'm not moving my uh, character any, actually. He's just steadily kind of spinning, and every now and then I actually get him to stop. Oh, is your is your character's body twisted up where you no longer have like full control of him? Oh no, he's he's not twisted. He's just like he finally stabilized. Like I don't know what it is, but like for some odd reason he right, I'm approaching another I salvage. Get off I'm approaching another salvage. Listening. Apparently, I'm on the same asteroid as the red dot because I can hear it pretty good, even okay, out of right. here. All right, let me give it. Let me look around and see if I can find that. You never find it when you need it. Oh, there we. Go. Okay, so I am far, far from you. All right, I'm on. My, I'm en route. Vanguard zero one, mobilizing. <laughs> So I will say this: They have said uh, the Lando has officially said that they will not be showing any any Star Marine at uh, during this uh, Gamescom. So and it makes sense because I think that's two point six material, or you know maybe Star or even uh, Citizen Con material. Uh oh, I got pirates on intercept. Give me a moment while I clear clear this uh, threat. Oh, I'm completely safe. Don't worry about that. Also, maybe a little bit trigger happy, but that's a, that's a different matter. Ooh, let me swing on in. Oh, whoops. Yo, can I find the red dot from here? I'm just curious. This would this would be one of those cases where the dragonfly would be useful. God, their missiles suck so bad. Oh my god, get, get on target. Ah! Man, I'm not used to this ship. His missile, uh, I guess, looped back around and then detonated. Oh, ah, I'm blown off his wings. This is not my uh, usual ship. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, so our main information dump for Gamescom should be during the presentation, right? Right, Friday, Friday. So... There's some, there's some, there's some muddy water regarding, uh, regarding, uh, um, what time that starts, because I guess there, Zylo had a, uh, a little bit of a, um, uh, a screw, a screw up on the, um, like there's basically two different, um, gonna happen friday that's fine but i hope it happens after i get off work i don't want to miss anything right yeah like i feel like all these other ones are early in the morning but like the way they made it sound on the the thing it makes it sound like that's that stream is going to be in the evening for uh for for us you know like 5 p.m that, that like, i don't weird. mind that, that would be weird but um, like those, those one o'clock streams that they do in the afternoon really hurt <laughs> i used to be able to, to get go. them but now there's now there's no no possibility of it all right pirates down that was weird all right let's see let me see yeah i think i'll roll with the shotgun I imagine that the uh, the beginning part. This is, I'm kind of jumping topics here, but oh, yeah, I'm yeah. thinking that the beginning 
of whenever you create your character still supposed to be generally the same, isn't it? You know, you you walk up to a mirror, you wipe it off, and you choose your gender, and then you go. Oh in, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. For for uh, for Squadron Forty Two, I think right. that's still going to be the case. I mean, or, or something along those lines. I mean, they'll probably revisit it and they'll brainstorm it and try to think whatever the, the best way for it is. All right, where is this red dot? I don't hear anything. They tomorrow they the streamers are going to be flying in PTU, so that'll be kind of cool because they're all PTU testers or have access. So that'll mean um, you know they'll they'll com conversate about that. But you know, then again, if, gentlemen, if you have any questions at all about the PTU, I, I can answer those questions right now too. So. I've, uh, if, 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 um, if do I, we have if any I, NPCs left or NPCs at, at all? Not left. <laughs> have you killed all the NPCs <laughs> in, uh, in 2.5? Like, have yeah. I gone through the missions and such? Yes. Well, okay. So there, there are NPCs there then, uh, you know, like pirates and such. What's cool is the, the pirates at Comrades and any of the pirates that spawn, you're going to run into pirates flying cutlasses now. So that's kind of cool. Uh -huh. It's a little more in fiction. Um, explosions when you blow up a target are a lot more, I guess, realistic for space. Like they, your the the enemy ships when they blow up inherit the velocity of the vector that they were on. They well they inherit velocity and vector of you know of their ship prior to being destroyed. So you blow them up and you got flaming wreckage. There's the there's a red dot. Okay, I'm finally moving in the correct direction um so that's really cool but the explosions are much more snappy like you know how before it's like boom and it's like a big ball of fire and you know you've got like two seconds that you're like you can literally like spin around it and watch the explosion expl you know curl out these ones they, they, they like snap pop they make this popping explosion sound and it's like boom and it and then and then the rest of the debris is just flaming and, and, and it persists. So like you'll be still dogfighting and you'll look over and you'll see, you'll see, oh, God damn it. More pirates. Really? Son of a bitch. So in other words, they fired Michael Bay as the director. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Now the thing is though, is, is I do love the, the explosions that we have in two, four, one, but I can see why they would go to this other version for fighters and then maybe revisit the big explosions for, you know, larger ships. Or or even for, like, if you blow a ship up via popping its power core as opposed to just destroying it. All right, are you still at this uh, salvage, uh, Vadrin? Yeah, I'm, I'm there, but I was just about to move off. Right. All right, do you hear me shooting? I see a red dot, actually, adjacent from me. Matter of fact, let me just fly to the red dot. How's that sound? Hey, I'm, I'm at, look around you. Are you not at this uh, green dot I'm at right now? I don't you... know about the green dot, but I'm on the red dot across the, I'm the green dot across the way from the red dot. Okay, so you can actually see the red dot. All right, you fly. I'm toward... looking, I'm flying towards the red dot. All right, so you were, okay. I'm coming around. I coming can around sense the that... asteroid as I come. <laughs> I can sense that subtle panic in Bay's voice. Well, he's like, I'm next to the, I'm next to the asteroid that has the big red dot, and I'm next to the green thing next to that asteroid, and that is not. I'm sitting here looking at the red dot though, which is kind of like <laughs> funny now. So I'm like, oh, okay, well, that that must be where it's at. Oh, One thing it. about it though, the pirates will definitely never catch me this way. <laughs> yeah, you should. I should spawn them, but just stay far enough away that they don't really fly and engage, and you can. Uh, Oh, there's yep, somebody. Dude. There's somebody. There's somebody here with a freelancer. Oh my God! Slow down. The ship Sounds slows familiar. down like. God, a brick. You know, if I actually see a giant flash, I'll know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you need to do: is spawn the dang uh, pirates on him. Ah, uh, well, he's already over here by this. That they're not gonna. I don't know if they despawn or they just don't come over here or what. Uh, he's he's missing a wing. Oh, well, that's even better. Oh, I wonder if you found ours. <laughs> <laughs> so I will say this, guys, though. Grim Hex is, is absolutely amazing. Oh, Captain Bane. Uh, yeah, there are actually instances. Give me just a second. Let me add you and make sure that you're in the group. And then that should... Captain Bane, have you added us to your 
to your friends list. You have to add, like we both have to be mutual friends in order to see each other on the server list. So add me, Dice Failure, D-I-C-E-F-A-I-L-U-R-E. Um, the best way to do that is hit F11, it brings up your friends list, and then use right alt slash where the question mark is together and that will give you your cursor so you can go up and click in the thing and then type in the name once you add me hit alt and the slash to release your cursor in f11 to get rid of that list let me uh do the same thing here with you meanwhile everybody go and attack him <laughs> what it'll be comical I'm actually, I'm think I'm gonna actually make it to the red dot sometime this year. All right, I added uh, Captain Bane, no space, to uh, to my friends list. Uh, my kingdom for Merlin. <laughs> well, I actually got one of the uh, lead programmers from corporate. Well, you have to once you click in add into the thing, you, then you have to just start typing, and it'll show up. It's a little, it's a, it's you know, it's it's a little early. It's still stupid. I got um, one of the lead uh, programmers from corporate from my job into uh -huh. Star Citizen, and I am so <laughs> excited. He he made me very proud. That next that following Monday, he sent me something on our our uh, instant messaging program that we use nice. that said Monday has me feeling like I'd rather be here, and it was one of the you know the little <laughs> circular space station things, and I was like, oh uh, my gosh, you have made me the proudest I backer know. in the world. <laughs> I'm a star citizen daddy. I know. So <laughs> did, did, did you get him to use your referral code at least? I did. I awesome. Did. Good job. Good job. It I'm super excited. I fun. got my, uh, I just made my fifth referral. So I finally got the goddamn fish tank. Never mind that I've had like 40 people join the game under me. They didn't release the referral code until that was all done. Oh, all right. Man. Um, Captain Vane, if it's not showing me because we just added each other, you might have to log out of the game and log back in for it to show up. But if you if you're if you're in the universe, say something in the universe and I'll see if you're in my server. All right, I just said I just said your name in uh, text chat in the universe. Cuz you 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 might already be in our in our uh in our um server instance <laughs> where are you vadrin because i'm sitting over here by the uh the red blinky light i'm slowly approaching the red blinky light from the green blinky light now damn it <laughs> there are a lot of blinky lights that are green that i can see are there, there a lot of them that are red because i'm headed straight towards it <laughs> tell you what you just fly around and i'll tell you if you're getting close Bootio Hunter would like to like to say hi. Say hi, Bootio Hunter. Hello. Could you hear that? Hey. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> she has a PTU invite. Ah, nice. I got her all patched up with it today. Can I borrow your fiber line? And then I and then I yeah, and then I and then and then discovered a bug while I was playing around in her uh, her VFG hanger. With uh, her system and rig, when she places one of the um, the display cases, and as you approach it, the LOD blacks out the whole screen. But if you back up or back away, it you know you can see it again. So, what is what is this uh, Avenger doing? You know, I wish I could see it. Well, aren't how far away from here are you? Hell, I think I'm about to touch the rock. You're about to touch the, the red blinky rock? I want to say I'm going full speed ahead, so... I I, I just... I just, I just spawned full pirates. Full speed ahead. Yeah, yeah, no, I... The, my, my internet connection is a, is 170 up and 170 down. We we got, like... The, the next the next level of uh, fiber that we could get would have been a you know an enterprise level business class. So. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Bark you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> the only way I could do better is to move from Dallas to Austin, so I'd be right right next to them. <laughs> stuck in the freaking boonies over here. Stuck with 
nine megabytes. Well, that's not not even actual speed. I got like two Shut up. Download and all this other BS. Shut you and your up. Stupid scrubby metro internet. Shut up. I'll take that 9 meg any day. Shut up. Oh, no. That's just it. It's not 9 meg. It's like... I'll take 5 meg. Hell, I'll take 2 meg. Shut up. <laughs> are you, you stuck on dial-up, man? He, he, his speeds right, are, well are dial-up dial capable. About That's about it. <laughs> I am like 700k. Shut up. Use that cattle prod on that hamster. Get him going faster. You know, that's what I'm beginning to think I should do. So uh, myself a Chihuahua and put some speed on it. Maybe the maybe the thing will run quicker. <laughs> I'm actually approaching the damn red dot. Good. All right, I'm trying to see if. Got uh, him. Uh, Lord Bane, there he is. It shows. It says you're offline, but I'll try inviting you anyway. Invite. To no, I think I'll just shoot at the red dot. How's that? I sound like a winner. Uh. I'll hey, invite. you joined hey. the party. Yeah, it's a party in here. All right, cool. All right, so that should help you find the server we're in. All right, um, I mean, you can shoot at it, but I mean, I think whoever whoever was in this freelancer um, is still me not... without my Me without my sniper rifle, and you're telling me that there's a guy out there with the freelancer. Well, where, where are you at? I'm actually getting really close to the damn dot. <laughs> All right, well, when you get close, I'm the one in the vanguard. Yeah, where the hell's that at? <laughs> well, I'm, 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 I'm flying around. Turn on the damn disco light or something, shit. <laughs> I don't know if this has a light, because I'm not seeing any lights. Uh, I heard something go boom. What was that? I don't know. Somebody... Oh, I've seen the rocket, actually. Oh, right, well, here, here you go. I'm going to get out of the ship so I can go make some money, because I haven't even activated this thing yet, so... I hope it doesn't fade. Please don't tell me that. Does anybody know if there's multiple red dots? No, there's only the one. All right, cool. Well, at least there's that. I got that going for me. Right. Oh, and I died when I walked out of the ship. <laughs> Where the hell is that ship at? Oh, my, my God. That, that, this is uh, fucking hairy. My unmolested ship is parked right in front of the asteroid, facing out towards the pirates. So it's it's that doesn't help much. It's, oppo <laughs> it's opposite the big asteroid. So it's the big asteroid. Was it pointing towards the red dot or away from the red dot? Well, the ship is facing the red dot, but its tail end, it's facing the red dot in the cluster with the big asteroid beyond that. So basically, if you're flying towards the cluster of of uh, whatever with the red dot, you're gonna go, you'll find the the ship. Whatever. There's there's only a couple ships over there. You go, go get it. There's only a couple, right? And then come pick me up at Port Olisar since you now have the ship. <laughs> Which is funny, right? It goes full circle. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go change into my civilian clothes. You know, they really need to make like a ship detector in the in the helmet hood. That would be so nice. Watch somebody fly off with your damn Vanguard as soon as I get close to it. Um, Captain Bane, when you're when you're in the menu and you go to Launch Universe, it should register which of your contacts are online. Like it should say Server One, you know, Quick Join Server One, so and so is in this server, and it should have the name listed. But I mean, it could be misbehaving because, like I said, when I when I added you, it showed you as offline. Oh yeah! If you want to check out the Million Mile High Club, you're welcome to. As long as you're in a party with me, you can, you can, you have access to it. So, unfortunately, we can't both be in there because they haven't enabled the, uh, you know, um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, check it out, man. <laughs> it's it's small and it's there's not a whole lot going on in it, but it is pretty cool. See, I haven't seen the Million Mile High Club yet. Oh, well, you know, if you log in. <laughs> if I had it downloaded. <laughs> what do you mean, had Damn. it downloaded? We're on 2.4.1. I, 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 no, I mean, the, the whole game. <laughs> oh. How did, what, what do you, have you not been playing lately? I had to make space for VR games, man. <laughs> oh, my God. You're killing me, Smalls. Hey, VR porn is amazing. Don't knock it. <laughs> <laughs> There's a nice 300i parked out here. Oh my goodness. 
Yeah, you know, you know, or man, we're, we uh, Thursdays are the fly day for the group. You know, even if you can't fly, even if you just hop in and join us in Twitch in uh, Discord, definitely you know come hang out. So it's not. I mean, I imagine different people will get on at different times. So if you hop on and no one's around, no big deal. But uh, oh, what? It, hang on, just a second. Uh, Captain Maine, the Million Mile High Club is a exclusive reward specifically for backers who backed the package at the wing commander and or completionist level is the only way to get it even if you if you've spent that much money but you didn't buy the actual package you don't get it and actually the million mile high club is a limited edition item so even if you buy those packages now it is no longer available there are about somewhere between 50 of those in existence across the entire 1.4 million players so and you're one of those 50. Yes, you I bastard. yes yes I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> and it's uh, it's I don't know. Like, I'm waiting to see whether or not they come through with the the expectations and promises and or you know verbal like intentions that were expressed. Hopefully they do, because you know, and it's not just. Whew, it's, All not, right. it's not just a static thing. All right, do I need to get something else and come out and rescue you? Have you have you Hell not, no. Have you not acquired the ship because I could just summon something? <laughs> this guy's having a good old time up on the Art Corp, you know, ship selection hub. <laughs> Do, 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 do. My guy's wearing white sneakers and blue jeans. Your guy needs to get a fashion overhaul. Oh, he does. But you got to understand, like, I, I went for the, you know, the best dress I could early on, and I was super happy with it. And then I got bored of, of him, you know. And rolling out. Being slick. So, uh, all right. I'm on, uh, I'm on Strut Alpha at Port Olisar. All right, and Captain Bane is on his way into our instance. So, um, yeah, anyway, and then I've done the all-white thing. I've done the blacks and reds and the, all of the colors. And So, honestly, I was being silly. Before this, I was running around barefoot, no pants, no shirt, no hat, just a jacket. No problem. <laughs> no pants, no problem. And uh, then I got tired of looking at the weird way the lighting um <laughs> <laughs> went over glanced off your crotch grant glanced off my bare legs i was like god oh, that's so creepy and <laughs> so i finally put some pants on and uh for a while i was going for like the weirdest combination i could find so i was trying to do like green and blue and fuchsia and, but uh well, thank you for putting pants on that's what everyone really wanted <laughs> hey you know i i, I live to serve Community first, yo. All right, well let's let's uh, let's get uh, Captain Bane and get a little bit of flight time in, and then uh, I guess I mean unless there's no no real questions, man, we'll wrap it up and um, head on out. Cause love you guys, but tonight's got to be an early night because I'm waking up to uh, track that Gamescom stream tomorrow from uh, ridiculous o'clock till uh, whenever it ends. So we'll see how that goes. So what strut you're on? Shit, I never actually have learned how to do this. Alpha, eh. alpha strut. Learned how to do what? Land? Nah, not land. That's never been an option before. Not land. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, I will meet. You can you see my ship flying toward the ship flying towards you, right? Oh yeah! Hey, look at that. All right, let me. Uh, I'll head out on uh, strut alpha ten. Let me, Actually, not, I not, say... let me not forget to put on a spacesuit. Oh, come on. It'd be comical. <laughs> so the Hornet F7A is going to be strictly for, what, Squadron 42, right? Correct. Correct. The, I mean, and if you're a great pilot in S Squadron 42, you'll be able to fly it. But there was no mention of keeping or and or purchasing. All right, so I would say... 
I guess, park the Vanguard, and then when Captain Bane joins on, like, uh, one of you two can pilot, another one can grab the turret, and I'll take the, um, the engineering station. Let's see here. Your ship is like a transformer. It reminds me of Starscream. It's a Decepticon. Starscream. I hated his voice so much, but I loved the toy. I never got the toy, but oh, I wanted it so bad because it was like Robotech. Oh my god, I just watched somebody hit the platform and is sliding the whole way down. <laughs> oh my, Captain Bane, how did you do that? That was too much. <laughs> I'm right behind you, man. I just saw that. Holy did crap. You, oh, dude. I was like, what? I got that was too much, man. Sir, sir, are you okay? <laughs> oh my god, somebody just wrecked their saber into you. I wonder if they just thought they were cool? Good. Who was it? I want to know who it is so I can face wreck them. Alright, well, I'm out of the ship on the really giant pads. So, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah we're, we're, we're right here with you. Hey, where is it? No idea uh, where the hell are you at. Hey, stop. I'm right behind you. Uh, look back towards the ship. Do How about that? Damn. Okay. Crazy shit. All right. So apparently that guy rammed you, but for whatever reason it did no damage. All right. So let's oh, I, it did a little bit of damage to the nose. All right. Well, take take us out. Take us out to. Uh, oh, look at him! He glitched into the bathroom. <laughs> you know, he hit the pisser, right? All right. Taking out. <laughs> yeah. Take us out to Cryaster, and we'll get repaired. Wait a minute. Here's a question for you. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna stand at ease outside of uh, Captain Bane's uh, bathroom experience and watch him through the foggy glass. <laughs> so is he in here? Is yeah, he in man. The ship? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here then. <laughs> and cry, Astro. Here we go. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're having a dance party rave in the back of the ship. <laughs> well, not to, you better hang on to something, because three, two, one. <laughs> I cannot wait until we're able to actually chain, daisy chain different, um, different, uh, different emotes together. And not have them deliver the the text. Hang on a second, I gotta can't let a salute go un unresponded to. Oh, it's too slow though. Oh, we we left the back door open, so I'm just gonna sit here and admire the universe. Whoops, I guess I was looking the wrong, uh, hang on, let me, here, here we go, do that again. Complainers in in the uh, in the general chat. Somebody's like, they're advertising persistent universe, not semi persistent. Disappointing. It's like, okay, man, good, good. <laughs> because People everything is done. Yeah. <laughs> Zip it, doo da. I am not gonna rush this because I've never actually parked on the bottom of that. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I really recommend learning how to play with that uh, decoupled. Because what you do is you set yourself in the decoupled, and then you just you get love tap it until you get the speed that you want and the angle that you want, and you just slowly glide in. It's so, so smooth. I mean, you can use the automated landing systems and all that, but I just feel like that locks you into an animation, and it locks you into... Well, into I'll practice... Slow... When I get better precision yes. and, and, and skill with aiming, I'll actually learn how to land a lot yeah. more because yeah. there might be a time where you just want to hurry and land. But as for the 
as for running around and actually just non-critical stuff, I'll take the automated every day. So. <laughs> oh, that's that's funny. Somebody was smarting off to the guy who was complaining. He's like, "You should go play No Man's Sky, Grass Turtle. I hear it's persistent." Damn. Damn. <laughs> oh, that's that's rough. You know, you know the thing is, is I've been playing No Man's Sky, and honestly, when I backed it, I didn't expect it to be. I didn't. Ex I didn't expect much. I was like, oh, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a few things that are gonna appeal to me, just like like when I play Spore. There's a couple of things about Spore I absolutely love, and then I look at all the hey, other hey. features in that hey. game that were abandoned because the publisher. Close the door. <laughs> People are watching. Oh yeah. Walk outside and get shot by these uh, repair bots. Droids. <laughs> It'd be funny as shit. They like. Some... <laughs> oh, it'll happen. Solder on yeah. like rivets on your forehead. <laughs> you laugh, but they they will kill me. They know. They know. The AI revolution. I wonder if I can sit on the outside of the ship, and you take off. And <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think that'll work. We want it to so badly. But no, anyway, so, you know, the thing is, is there, there are other games out there that have, like, some really great things, but were, you know, but a lot of, a lot of flaws where things were, unfortunately, not completely finished in development. And, um, I figured, uh, Captain Bane, if you want to do the, if you want to take the turret up top, that's going to be a more fun position. Do you know where it is? It's, uh, directly above me. Or to your right, if you release out of the uh, engineering station. But uh, yeah, no, the um, the uh, so No Man's Sky remi reminds me of that. Like honestly, it's it's one of those games that you can kind of enjoy if you just enjoy kind of mindlessly grinding through collecting things, you know, and upgrading your ship. Somebody had made the comparison. Ooh. <sighs> Uh, pardon me, guys. Sorry, I, I woke up really early, um, and I should already be in bed. <laughs> so somebody had suggested that No Man's Sky was going to be kind of like Terraria, but in space, or even um, um, the other game that's similar to Terraria. God, why can I, I I can't think of it. Oh, Starbound. Star, Starbound, yeah. And you know, I actually I think I kind of agree. It feels. Oh, F shouldn't. F is what got you in, but F is not going to get you out of that. It's Can like the... right, it's right alt F or left alt F and hold to remove yourself from a position from a station. We have sortie. Bogey inside. All right, I'm uh, t going into the turret. Um. Yeah. No. So you know. So Starbound and them. Like even Starbound. Like. I, I haven't played it since the newest patch, so maybe it got better. I played it back in the alpha beta days, and um, it was uh, it was cool, but at the same time, every level that you went through basically just turned into a repetition of the previous. So I'm sure that they've had a chance to adapt that, but uh, yeah, anyways. So I'm sure it's good, but it's also... Yeah, it's not going to do the things that Star Citizen does, you know? And the fact that it's a space game is just thematic because the reality is is you're not flying your starship like you would. Yeah, I mean, you can't use a HOTAS or anything, so. Yeah, I've been enjoying the game so far. I've been taking my time at it. I'm not rushing. I've, I've had someone ask me, well, are you going to stream it? No, because I want to enjoy it. If I stream things, I'll have to put on a show, <laughs> and yeah. I don't want to do that. Right. It, it's really one of those games you really have to just take your time at, enjoy it. You mean, everyone's got their own motive. You can try to rush, but I mean, yeah. no man's guy. What's the point? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's yeah, I mean, right. As I try to turret gun terribly. I've got a friend who has is already in his fifth system. Oh uh, wow! And I'm still in my second system on my fifth out of six planets trying to find this one fecking species that I can't find. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering about that. Like, I've... Like, I keep finding new... We got inbound missiles. Watch out, guys. Oh, my God. Alright, leave. 
Hey, Irv, yep. do, you, do you remember the hotkey to make uh, turret gameplay not suck so bad? It's like something that stabilizes the turret or something like that? Uh, I think it's F420. What? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> Missile's gone by. But yeah, it's it's a good game. It was definitely overhyped, but it's right. still very enjoyable. Well, yeah, and, and the, the funny thing is people are trying to compare it to Star Citizen. It's a completely different experience. Honestly, and there there are things about it that I think Star Citizen might might include or might might learn from. Like, you know, because there's something to be said that's enjoyable for just slowly working your way through exploring a planet and finding all the things. You know, there's it's it's that kind of, uh, what do you call it, that, that part of the game where it's not just action, 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 you know? And exploration is going to be like that. So, you know, that's what the game's about. So, fine. Good good for that. No, it's not going to do all this, all these other things, I guess. It's not, you know, a high action game. Yeah, you have to take it for what it is. Right. If you want to enjoy it. <laughs> I do believe I've crashed. Uh-oh. Oh, Hang on. Well... Uh... Better fix that. Uh-oh. Uh... So this answers that question. What happens if this happens while you're flying with your friends? <laughs> we'll I find out here tonight. Well, well, the ship is holding still, which is great, because now I can actually hit targets. But I don't know how long we'll, we'll, we'll survive. You uh, might want to actually steer it. <laughs> uh... You know... Surgeon Generals have actually well, noted like, all, that there the, is a the... distinct chance increase in living for people that steer their ships. Did Captain Bane take over piloting? Because it's we're moving again, but he was probably stuck. Bane. I think he was stuck in the uh, platform a minute ago. Well, that's okay. I don't mind. Beggars can't be choosers. He can shoot my corpse and like slide me out the way. <laughs> it's all amusing for me. In that, I will probably go ahead and... Should I bow out right now? I'm just wondering. Should I? Does anybody have a question for me? Besides Earth. <laughs> we don't take questions from Earth. How long is your... Okay. <laughs> Patience. The length of... <laughs> All right, Captain Bane. If you can, take us back to port. And uh, we'll, we're going we're gonna to wrap up for the night. So I feel, I feel it's only fair that we, we actually land and get off the boat. Or blow up, you know that that that's a great combination too. Alt K backspace, hit it all together, and it's always a winner. Don't don't listen to him. Don't do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> do it. Do it now. Do it now. No no no. No chop it here. We only cut potato. You cut potato. We cut potato. This is a restaurant. Get 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 going now. <laughs> Whoa. It's the ship, the ship is just spinning in circles. I'm sitting at oh. the back. I'm sitting at the back with the gate open, and I've got the uh, sniper rifle out. And like when I zoom out, it's just one giant merry-go-round. <laughs> Thank you, seasick. Nah. I don't have when, no when, questions. When you, you should, you should see. Me. You should see some videos of me skydiving when I'm under canopy and I go into a corkscrew turn. It's like this, but a lot faster and with more G-forces. <laughs> you know, and like the earth pummeling towards your head. <laughs> yes. No. Captain, I was the Captain... with, with the windsuits. Oh, the wingsuits, yeah. Captain Bane. Why, why are we out of control? Oh, maybe he's not, he's not in that. <gasps> no, there's no one in the pilot seat. <laughs> you might ought to run to that. All right, hang on. I've, I'm taking over the ship. I've got control. For the moment. You know, I'm not used to the to the to right. your different loadout, so that whole me trying to shoot at things didn't work out so well for me. Yeah, well, I did this... better in the freelancer, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see. Okay, hang on. Let me. 
So another thing that they did in 2.5 that you guys are going to really appreciate is when you bring up the quantum menu, the diamonds for picking your your destination are much smaller, much more, uh, much less um, obnoxious to pick apart. So that's super good. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah, because I, I wish I, there I, were I, tracking I, beacons on players. That would be kind of an upgrade, wouldn't it? Well, I mean, I think we'll get to those systems in in time. Let me see. I can't jump straight back to Olasar, so let me jump to ICC because I can jump from ICC to Olasar. I know that. Oh, I see that. Damn it! I don't. I don't know what the the hotkey is to get unstuck from the terminal, Captain. Um, the isn't that like hold uh, control and F? I think so. What like control or Alt and F? I, I'm not. Control. I, I, I have it. I have it. And have press it F and hold left. Yeah. So I, I have it mapped to uh, my Hotas. So. Oh yeah. Well, that's probably so, your problem. Well, for me, it's that makes it great. But, you know, when it comes to like, belting out what the command is, I'm like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. See, I use the legacy commands because I can't stand the new layout. So, like, when somebody says, hey, how do you do this? Oh, I press V. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, no, it, it's, it's always worth... Oh, no, and it booted him out of sh the ship. Shit. Can you... Uh, Captain Bain, are you still in visual contact with the asteroid? Um, the, uh, the, um, the debris field that we, uh, where I lost you? I mean, I can come back and do search and rescue. That's actually well, worth worth doing. <laughs> and it's nine oh seven. All right. Well, I'm all sorry. right, Captain. Go ahead. Go ahead and suicide, man. I think I think we're gonna we're gonna close out the show for the night. I'm just gonna park this ship just to you know because I can't not bring a ship back into port. <laughs> Call it OCD, but it's it's got to be done. Wow. Now, uh, I will say this. If you gentlemen want to fly with me tomorrow, tomorrow's the day. Um, afternoon time. Uh, I, won't be, I won't be Twitch streaming from Station 42. I'll be Twitch streaming from Dice Failure. And uh, just, just hanging out with uh, anybody who wants to fly with. So, it'll be what afternoon in uh, Central Standard Time. The better needs to make the alter ego Dice victory. <laughs> Eight, eight ball victory. Eight ball rolling. Wish I had eight balls. <laughs> seven. Be like you'd be like oh, uh, let's see here. George Two Washington. Kidneys. Like you know, six foot twenty, made of radiation with you know. You know, so five, you got two five on the eyeballs, bottom. two kidneys, two testicles, and I guess the ball of your feet. There you go. You got eight two. balls. Congratulations. Two. No, I don't have two testicles. I've got like eight. About eight on the vine. You know, that was really, really painful in a course because it sounds like you have eight <laughs> testicles and no dick. Well, they're not all in the same place. Oh, okay. You're like so, like that that the Star Trek reference where Picard actually kicks the dude in the knees. Yeah. Okay. Got you. Exactly. Yes. Captain. That's Bain. why you'll never see me on my knees. Cap Captain Bain, we were at the ICC mission <laughs> one, the very first ICC mission. That was the debris field that we were at. So. So find the ICC uh, ICC probe, and uh, then just follow the quest chain out that way. Yep. It is really fun. Right. Has a nice little storyline to it. I particularly like the Kovalek story myself, the completed oh, version yeah. it's, of the half-assed one. It's fantastic. All right, gentlemen. I will see you later. In the verse. Later. <laughs> as I as I dip out of that. So no 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 let let us let's close out the show proper, Mister Vadron. Let's close out the show proper. <laughs> Whatever, those burritos waiting on me. I'm hungry. Let's go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> Beefy five layer Taco Bell burrito man. All right, folks. Hey, if you stuck with us and watched us on our crazy uh, breach of uh, of normal format, thank you. Thank you for your patience. Thanks for spending your time with Station Forty Two. 
Uh, if you have any comments or requests, definitely give it to us. Uh, YouTube, Facebook, Homing Pigeon, private message, hit me up on Twitch, hit me up uh, anywhere you like. You know, come bang on the glass door next to my house and, you know, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Boom. Bang, bang. Um, no, on a serious note, though, please like, subscribe, you know, throw a dollar towards Travis's way because it really motivates him. <laughs> uh, all jokes aside, though, seriously, just go ahead if you if you have or haven't or if you enjoyed the show tonight or if you think it could be better, let, at least let us know what the hell we're doing wrong, you know, in your infinite wisdom. No, I'm choosing again. See, I'm joking with everybody tonight. This is what happens when I wing it. I'm an asshole. <laughs> That's right on uh, my MySpace page all over it. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And the only thing we're doing wrong, man, is we haven't, you know, we haven't established we haven't... a MySpace presence. That is that is yeah. where the market is. We need to go to MySpace. That is where we need to gather the. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'll put it in my palm pilot later. Oh, you're funny. All right, guys. In time to engage that full Monty warp core. Everyone, grab onto something because it's about to get real. Rolodex and your Covalex later. <laughs> Thank you.